It's Friday. It's five to five, and it's Cracker Jack. Cracker Jack. It's it's wonderful to think that um, somebody would want to write a book about Cracker Jack. Although it was uh, such a legendary program, you know, a program that had got everything for children, absolutely everything. An iconic part of my childhood. When I saw the names that were going to be here, like Don McLean and you know downtime Julie Brown and Sarah Hollandby and people like that. Well it was a children's variety show. Comedians, there was a singer, there were the odd guests, pop groups, silent movies. It finished with a sketch where they started singing pop songs and it was a lovely tea time romp. We would have got everything that a child, a children's program needs. It had old-fashioned things, you know, thought of as old-fashioned, but it also had the first pop groups. I said, where's the elephant? And they said, we can't find it. And when you think about the fact that you won a Cracker Jack pencil too, sometimes yeah. you think, God, people would laugh if, that, if they went away with that now. A rose between two... No, I didn't say that. Oh, no. <laughs> I mean, joy gets home. Oh, it's been great. Um, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very nice book. Um, and the, the talks were very enlightening, so it's been great fun, actually, yeah. And it was a great chance to reminisce about people like Peter Glaze um, and Leslie Crowver, etc. And it was lovely to see Liz and her family here. Don McLean. Don McLean, Jan Hunt, Peter yeah. Glaze. Peter Glaze and I used to go out and just do a quick warm out. We'd be introduced and the kids would go absolutely wild. Don was uh, sort of my era when I was growing up. My dad, uh, Leslie. I never saw in Cracker Jack. Leslie was a lovely bloke, very kind, very kind. And Ed Stupop was, yes, was our true. era. I remember the Crankies and Sue Francis, the Bix. I'm slightly younger than my husband. Got you had some great guest well. stars. Yeah, yeah, we did actually. Yeah. Well, we had great time. Always getting into trouble for corpsing. I don't think television's changed that much, but it, it, it has lost its heart. Well, aren't we lucky? We've all survived. Because we're the same, but it's all sort of gone. 